pieces filled. I guess I could have fitted it up first. Well, no, you got to stick one of them on before you can tell how long the other one's going to need to be. Got in a spot where I can't flow. I can't flow good. Messed up my flow. It's best to push cock. Always push cock. And then this is going much better pushing it than pulling it. It's amazing how many people don't know how to cock. I didn't. I learned to I taught myself to cock when I was a kid. I used to cock the bathroom when it needed. But uh, I'd always pulled. I didn't realize. When you push it, it pushes it into the cracks instead of pulling it out. You don't get near as many air bubbles. You can do it prettier that way. Well, if you're kind of real steady handed, you can do it pretty by dragging it. But you're not getting in like you need to be. Getting into the cracks and the holes and you're getting a lot more air bubbles. I think I was going a little thin there. It's running right down the wall, so I think I'm all right. You still always want to go backwards, even when you're preaching about it. Let's see. Lay on the pepper towel. I don't know what the set time is on this, so I'm going to get get with it. This is going to be there. And luckily, I might have to put some clamps on it or something. Yep, I think I am. To get it to sit there while I finish doing the other part. Do I have my hose clamps handy? I've got a vice grip. i got one vice grip here. Where is it? One vice grip. <sighs> There. I've got glue on my glove, but... Well, it's sticking. Oh, okay. It's not as bad as I thought. Okay, it just took a minute. So it's setting up pretty fast. I don't have time to go hunt clamps. At all. Scissors. Where's the other piece? So, uh... Okay. Whoops, start here. Work my way around. Right on the end. Yeah, it's setting up quick. Setting up quick. Yeah, I think it'll get a lot better set up when I, uh... Let's see. About right there. Ooh, that's hard to cut. I think I was trying to cut the glove, too. Ah, 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 come on, you're almost there. It hurts. My fingers and thumb. You don't get one chance for that either. It's a tear, hair long, but that's fine. That's better than being short. I think. Okay, get up there, get up there. Yeah, this is pretty quick setting stuff. So I guess you could, uh, you could, you can do it without clamping it. I can kind of tell that, but I'm gonna clamp it because I'm ready. Because that's what I want to do. Put you over there. Got some glue on it. Alright, now I laid it. Tried to lay it down carefully, but... I don't know if I laid it down very carefully enough. Okay, I need a screwdriver. Let's get it all around it, and then... I need my big screwdriver. There we go. Okay. Don't glue to the thing. I think it was just holding on because it's felt. It's not very slippery. Yeah. Okay. Put you right there. This thing can be fiddly to work with. And it is very easy to glue it to whatever it is. If you get glue all over it, then you'll glue it to whatever it is you're gluing. But I guess that's part of the fun. No, it's part of the perils of using it. I wanted it to be... It doesn't want to slide, and I wanted it to be on that plastic. I don't guess it matters enough to fight it. 
Okay, that's all good around there. Just need to start tightening is what I need to do. Okay. That way. Oh, it's going to go that way. Yeah, I did good. Because it's not going to... I couldn't remember which way it cranks. It's going that way, so... You got to watch out where you put your fingers because there's a ratchet on there that will pinch the living crap out of you. Let's see. Oh, it's a little too low. I didn't didn't see that it went down on me. You can release it, though. Let's see. Which way do you push it? There we go. Yeah, down, down here on the back. It, oops. I may do more harm. Watch me. I don't want to do more harm than good here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'll hold it out like that. Well, and I can pull slack out of it too. You don't want to wind it up any more than you have to. If you if you start with too much slack when you start winding it, oh, I can't get it to do it. Okay, so I'll wind it because I do I do have enough room for that much. So uh, I try to get all the slack I can, but it's not. It's not working with me on this. So. I mean, this thing will put some serious pressure. And I don't actually want to overdo it. A little bit more, maybe. But, you know, curved pieces of wood and stuff, or I guess pretty much anything that's curved around, especially... Uh, this is your tool right here. Of course, I guess, you know, if you've seen a lot of, watched a lot of videos on doing how-to project videos or whatever, you've probably seen people use uh, those, you know, tie-down straps with hooks on them. But they don't, see, this is completely flush all the way around. The only thing is, is uh, this part here, the metal, it's, you know, a little straight. But this is such flexible stuff. That's not hurting a thing. I was going to stick that through that. I'll leave it just like it is because, yeah, like that. I, I don't want it gluing closed. <laughs> I don't know what I've, where I've got glue. That's a little bit too long, but I don't think it'll hurt a thing. If it's sticking out or something, I can trim it. You know, it is a little high right there. Didn't didn't realize that, but I ain't trying, can't move it now. There's that glue. Got some there. Well, let it dry before I touch it, yeah. Let it dry, and then I can just scrape it off. This, oh yeah. I don't know if I want to put this in there or that. Let me go look at my, let me roll this. I was going to, I think I'll start rolling it up. It would be the best way to handle that, I think. I don't want it all down at one end. The thicker your glue is in your tube, the slower it'll dry. In my theory, yeah, it, it, I think so. And I don't going to open it. I was going to say, well, you could try to get more air out of it, but I don't think that'd be a good idea. I'll put it down there for now. <laughs> it's starting to glue this thing to itself. It's wrinkling up. I can see traces of other glue jobs. That's an old one. That's an old one. That's right now. Okay, but yeah, that spot that I dug stuff out of there on an accident. <laughs> oh, I nearly went all the way to the ground. Tripped over one of those cords. Oh, I'm too tired to catch myself hardly. Let's see. Yeah, here's uh, two of them if they're not dried up. High temp. They're both high temp. That one feels like it may be dried up. RTV high temp silicone. This is the best all around stuff. I used to use the uh, Permatex. They're both term. Is this a different brand? This is a different brand, I think. The Permatex. That one feels like it may be ready to be thrown away, but this one seems okay. Uh, I used to use the uh, the yellow, 3M yellow, or depending on what I was doing, or the the black that the first one they came out with. Back in the, when I when I was a teenager, you know, working on my '64 Chevelle. So, well, I, my first car was a '62 Buick. 
Probably should have squirted some of that out and got rid of it. But that's kind of a deep spot anyway, so I'll just fill it up. I don't know if that's of any necessity whatsoever. It's pretty hard to squeeze out. But uh, since I cleaned it all up real good, I think that'll stick pretty good. And so if I did any, you know, opening of a hole, I can't really tell if that goes all the way through or not. But if I did, it'll be sealed up by that, and then it should stay. But this old former gasket was one of my used to use. It, You know, nowadays this stuff, you can make gaskets with it. But former gasket really didn't make a gasket well. And I figured out all the tricks. I don't know if somebody told me if I figured it out on my own, but, you know, like put it on there. Uh, let it kind of get sticky a little bit. Actually, I think it works better. Don't let it dry too long. People, I was seeing a video where a guy was talking about doing that. Let it dry. He's on like 10 or 20 minutes, and this stuff gets too, you know, it's going to be uneven. But what you do is put the part in place, but leave, uh, you know, 16th gap all the way around it, an even gap. Or as even as you can get it, just put the bolts in and screw them down with your fingers, or maybe, a, but don't don't squish them down and squeeze all the sealer out. And let it dry till the next day is the only way to really do it good. And uh, then it may make you a gasket, like you want it to. Ah, that's that's ruined. If there's any now, nah, there's nothing left in it. The lid wasn't on it good. It's oh, it's stripped. That's what happened throw it in this other big trash can at least I got two of them and these are very old I do not know how old they are I don't see how they could be well now I haven't bought any in at least 10 years they couldn't be that old so yeah I bet you both of those have been bought since then but not by me and there's some in there just you know got put in my toolbox okay and I didn't do it on purpose I mean I didn't do it initially anyway okay this let's, let's do you I have a drink I want to see if I can get that glove off I do not want this glue on my cup <coughs> you know I completely forgot that all that dust was <laughs> all over my cup Uh, one more drink. Uh, I do have to pick up a lot of stuff, but uh, some of it I may leave. I think I'm going to leave things, some of the things that are heavy and hard to put away, like the vacuum cleaner and stuff. But all these small items, I want them put away and protected. Okay. Now, I was going to clean this with uh, denatured alcohol or something. But now, I'm ready to put... I blew it out real good. Let me look at it with my magnifying glass. But now I'm ready to put it in there. And I don't want to wait for it to dry. Hmm. What should I do? I blew it out with, with 125 PSI of air. It should be... Clean. Now, I hope I didn't spin that... I do remember, okay, yeah, no, it's still in the same place. So that's all I got to do. I need a piece of plastic to put over that and put some of that grease, probably just some of that grease there or whatever's easiest to get to. I don't really want to waste that good stuff. Maybe I'll go get, I got grease back there. But, uh, oh, the glue's in there. I got to dig it out. Might want a putty knife, the little one or something. Tools. Let's see. I'll just set them on top of all here for now. I'm not. I'm just probably just going to be putting tools up. Yeah, I'm not going to. See, I can't. Re I realize now I can't completely uh, assemble it tonight. I was thinking that's how I was going to do it, but I can't do that. So. Uh, oh. Okay. So I'm going to let this set and dry, and this set and dry, and then I'll put it all back together. Where's my knife at? Uh, 
it in my pocket? Oh, I bet it's, I bet I put it in here. Yep, there it is. I thought I might need it. Okay. Okay, but first I want to get a plastic, piece of plastic of some sort. There's little scissors. I know there's tons of plastic in this garage. So, uh, something to cover. I don't want it sticking to that plate that I just got cleaned up. I want it thin, though. I don't want a big old... I don't want bubble wrap. There's bubble wrap in there, but... I wonder why we save those. That's kind of pretty tough for my purposes. Well, I guess it'd be fine. Yeah, I'm not going to keep looking and looking. I don't see any reason. Oh, it's got my name on it, so... I was just thinking, well, did Mom say that for something? See, I can cut me a little hole. I'll just do it just like that. Cut me a slit right there. Just big enough for that thing to go in. I think that was it right there. I know which way it needs to go. And I can... Uh, can fold it and look too to make sure it's in the right place yeah okay now uh, leave the alcohol out until I actually need it let me get that grease before I forget well let's open this up now, I read the instructions when I got it because I have never used this before and then I realized the project form was doing tests on it so I saw him doing it and explaining how you're supposed to do it he was he usually reads the instructions on the video he wants to make sure he's doing it per instructions you know so that the test if it fails it doesn't do good in the test it's not because he did it wrong and sometimes he'll say i'll say man that stuff isn't any good you know to myself and he'll say oh i didn't i don't think i did that right and so i'll do it test it again or i'll just not say it's bad you know <laughs> usually he'll test it again okay don't trip Actually, I see what happened there. That bottom of that the hose was sticking out. I think that's what I really tripped on last time. I almost did it again. Grease. Can I get to some just plain old grease? You could use Vaseline if you had it. I don't have none. Let's see. There we go. That's what I want. Parts. That's not grease the grease oh that's grease yeah red grease that's the pretty kind I like red that's my favorite color the pretty kind it's like a pretty girl okay that's the pretty girl grease there we go okay I can just smear it all I want doesn't matter well, I don't want it sticking to that plastic and making it hard to get off either, so I'm going to smear it all around there. That's bigger than that thing is. It seems like the last time I, when I did the fix that's on there now, I, uh, I, it did stick pretty bad and I had a real hard time. This I can cut easy with a knife, get it out of there. I think I used a thin plastic and I thought I could just rip it out and I think I think it stuck to the plastic. I don't remember. I remember I just have a memory of it. I don't remember exactly what happened, I just remember it not working out. <laughs> it seemed like it didn't work out like I wanted it to. But that should be good pretty about as good as you're gonna be able to That's that's the release agent. That's my release agent. The grease. That's okay, it's a good thing to use for that. Vaseline is usually what they tell you. Probably just because it's not quite as nasty as axle grease. or Well, that's wheel bearing grease there. It's not stinky like axle grease. And this, you're just supposed to knead it. That's why I was wiping my gloves. Knead it in your gloves. But, uh... Oh, it's got a little thing to go over the end of it. So, what do you do? So you don't, I don't think you want to just squeeze it up. Maybe so. I don't need a very much at all. There we 
go. That is more than would fit in there. Okay. Get just a tiny bit more, maybe. Oh, I see. You start squeezing it, then... Let's put it back. Ooh! That's puppy's breath! That's puppy's breath! When I worked at GD, we had the best uh, epoxy. I guess it's epoxy. I was thinking it was... Yeah, epoxy putty. We had the best epoxy I'd ever seen. You couldn't... And it was in a different package I'd never seen, and you'd You'd break two packages open and mix them together. Yeah, and you, we, it was thinner. You could start with a putty knife. I've never used any of this stuff that you, you know, like clay dough type stuff. But uh, that one fell off. I'm going to let it go. It might be a dry piece that I don't want anyway. But um, that's it. I kept wishing I could get that stuff. I've never found a place to buy it. And, and I don't remember the real name of it. But <laughs> this guy. <coughs> This guy that I worked with, he was there before, years, ten years or something before me, <coughs> five years. <coughs> he he would you know he would he loved to teach well he loved to teach everybody stuff but um, you know he was helpful except for when he was aggravating me and getting in my way but uh, because I wasn't you know I had lots of related experience <coughs> I know a heck of a lot more we had these big old table routers we routed aluminum with with a template. And, uh, I had made a lot of doors in the cabinet shop and a lot bigger, scarier blades than they were using. And uh, anyway, so they they act like the table router was the plague, you know, and I didn't know how to use it. And anyway, um, it was the one thing I knew a lot about. Plus, I'd worked it with all the basic tools at GD in the other shop I was in, you know. <clears throat> But, of course, being a tool maker, I, there was a lot for me to learn. Okay, I think it's, if I don't get it in there now, it's not going to, it's going to dry. I remember saying it dried fast. It's starting to kind of stick to my gloves. I'm almost sitting there telling stories. and Oh, yeah, I should have already done it because I'm going to have a heck of a time sliding it over that now. See, what I was going to do is put it in the hole and then slide it. That stuff is already hardening up. I don't know if I can get it on there. If I can't get it on there, I'll have to dig it out and store it again. I can't. Dang it. I didn't know it hardened that fast. It's already to where you can't work it anymore. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out. I'm, I guess I can drill it out, but I may have to. I don't think I can dig it out. Yeah. I'm just going to hurry up. I'm just going to go ahead and drill it out. Uh, drills. Where do I have some drills? There. I don't want to get crappy stuff on those. Let's see. Yeah, I've got drills I can get to without digging out a whole bunch more stuff out. Okay, don't tell stories while you're kneading your dough. It will harden on you before you get anywhere near. We're ready. Might be okay thing. I, I, I know I'm going to want it straight up and down. So, but I was trying not to lose that uh, that. Uh, let's see how big a one do I want? Oh. I want maybe that one there. I think that's a quarter inch. Yep. That's what I'm going to go with. If it won't go on there, I will go up another size. It's got a depth gauge on it. Now, this is cheap. Set. Oh, wrong way. And it sure did grab these things. Now, 